check, 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 one, two, how we doing, check, check. Alright, what's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, and stay tuned for... Season 1, Episode 7 of SharePoint in 60 Seconds Live. We'll be talking about how to track metadata with folders in SharePoint using document sets, followed by Q&A. Stick around. This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds. This is the show where you can get the information you need in the first 60 seconds. And then if you'd like to stick around for all the gory details, then you are welcome to do so. And we will talk you through all those gory details. So today's episode, well, first, before we get started, please remember to like and subscribe and share this with someone who you think may may find value in it. Alrighty, so for today we're going to talk about how to track metadata using document sets. So basically, you're able to use a folder structure to keep track of files that relate to something and in an easy way add metadata. It's not quite the same as your standard yellow folder per se, but it's like a yellow folder like on level 10. It's like leveled up, as my daughter would like to say. So here we go. I'll explain how to make it happen in 60 seconds, and then we'll go in and do a step-by-step -step tutorial. First thing you got to do is you got to activate document sets at the site collection level. So go ahead and do that. Then you're going to go, you're going to create a content type, name it something, add any columns you want to add to it. Then you're going to go to your document library, open up the advanced settings, turn on allow management of content types, and then add that document set content type to your document library. Boom, you're in business. Now, if you'd like to stick around to see exactly how that's done, let's rock and roll. So, as I mentioned before, well, first let's talk about what we want to track. And in this instance, we're going to pretend that you are a music publishing company. And you are going to negotiate licenses with companies to use the music that you manage. So let's say you want to track everything about a particular license. So in that case, you'll have a folder for each license or a document set for each license. So first things first. We got to go in here and we got to make sure that on the site collection where we're going to do this in the document library, we want to make sure that we go into site information and then view all site settings. And we want to go in and we want to uh, make sure that we are looking at site collection features. Here's where we can make sure the document set service is turned on. In this case, it's not, so we need to activate it. So there you go. Now we got that activated. Now we can go back 
to our site settings, we can go into content types and we're going to create a content type for each license. And so we're going to go create. And this is going to be a license. So it's a folder for each license or a document set for each license. We'll say files related to a unique license with another company to use music. And we're going to pick from document set content types. Now, had you not flipped that switch earlier, you would not see this option. So if you're having trouble and you're thinking, where is this? Just rewind the video and, and go ahead and set that up. It's going to be a document set. That's the only option here. And then we're going to make a new group called licensing so we can have other document sets that relate to licensing, etc. Now we have a document set, which is basically a folder. And let's say we want to track things about this folder slash document set. So for each license, there are going to be key pieces of information that you need to know about that license, like who's the licensee, um, when did the agreement start, when will the agreement end, is it exclusive, all of those things. So then what you can do now is you can create new site columns. Cool thing about these is you'll be able to use these in other places. And we're going to call it um, the licensee. And we'll go with a drop down. So we'll go with choice. It's right there in my face. There we go. Um, we're going to do a new group. Th this is for site columns, not site content type. So it's, it's another group. I'm still going to call it licensing just for consistency, not to confuse. But for your application, you need to do whatever you, you know, name it, whatever you need to name it for your particular application. And I'm going to start with MediaNet. MediaNet actually is the uh, the new company for Muzak. If you're familiar with Muzak, as the company back in the day, that was the big thing. Um, you know, they played overhead music in stores and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it is now MediaNet. And then let's say, yeah, it would be nice to have a license with these guys. Um, and there you go. All right, so let's say they're going to license your music. You want to be able to pick from these companies. All right, we're going to go radio buttons. I like to go radio buttons if we've got five or fewer options. Um, if we've got three, um, I like to go radio buttons. If we have more than five, then I go check boxes. Or excuse me, drop down rather. Uh, allow fill in. Let's say yes in case we get more, more clients. And then we got the uh, default choice we're gonna make it blank so you have to pick something and update all content types yep so there you go so now for this whole content type you've got uh, a column associated with it already um, so I'm checking the comments if you if you have a question or you need me to go back and revisit something let me know uh, otherwise we're gonna keep rocking and rolling so we have the licensee, but we also need to know when when does this agreement start and when does it end? So then we can go and again, create new. And we'll call this one um, start date. We'll go with a date and time. Uh, we'll put it in the licensing group to keep things consistent. Uh, date only, we don't need the time. Standard, I like standard. The friendly thing always throws me off. Uh, default date, we'll leave that alone. And yeah, update all the stuff inheriting. Boom. So now we got start date. If we have start date, I guess we're going to need an end date, right? So you know what to do. New site column. End date. We'll go with date. We're going to put it in licensing. And everything else is good to go. Boom. So let's review for our document set. We've got licensee, start date, end date. But maybe we want to know if this is going to be an exclusive agreement. Um, meaning, you know, if you work with this company, then you can't use those songs with, with, with any other company. I wouldn't suggest doing that unless they're going to pay you a lot of dough. Anyway, uh, we're going to add a new site column. 
and we're going to call it exclusive. And we'll go yes, no. You know, this will, you know, call for certain things if you're doing stuff afterwards, like you'll may have to say like this equals true or false. So, um, but I like to just stick with this. That way I know that I'm dealing with a consistent, like, you know, yes, no type of thing. Um, we're gonna put it in licensing. You know, I suggest always adding the description, but I'm just kind of moving along. So there we go. That way we can mark if it's exclusive or not. So we got okay. We're gonna go, so we have our columns associated with the content type, which is called a license. So now we got this complete, oh, there's one more thing we gotta set up. If you want some of these properties, let's say I build a new document set and I want the start date and end date to migrate over to any files that get uploaded to that document set slash folder then i can do that in my document set settings there's lots of other cool stuff we can do here too but if you got a question let me know and we'll dig into it otherwise we're going to stick with just sharing this column info so we'll share the license e info the end date um and exclusive or not um yeah, 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 yeah. Column showing up the welcome page. We'll come back to this. I think I may have to come back and add these, but I'm going to hold off unless I need to do it. We'll say okay. All right. Now, uh, so we're going to go to the document library where we're going to implement this, and I'm using just the default document library. Well, uh, no. How about I create a new document library? So we're going to go to the home page and we're going to say, we're going to say new document library. We're going to call it licensing files, files about licensing. And we'll say create phone. Now, so right now, all we have is a name and some other default columns, but we want to be able to create like a new document set, like a new license in here. So we got to go into the library settings. You're going to go to advanced and you're going to turn on allow management of content types. And that's all you're going to mess with here. Don't mess with anything else here. And then we're going to add from existing site content types that you just built. So we can trim it down to licensing and we'll add a license, which is that folder slash document set with all of the columns. So now we've got that in here and notice how we got these other columns added. Boom. We're in business. Now we go to documents. Ah. We don't go to documents, we go to site contents and find my licensing document library, or licensing, licensing files. And now we could say new license, boom. And we will call it um, um, sweet candy uh, phono records where they want to be able to like stream my stuff so in that case we gotta specify our own value because they're not in here we'll call it sweet candy is the name of the company start date let's say january 1st 2021 and no end date and we're gonna say it is not exclusive and then we save So there we go, we have that uh, document set and now we can either drag and drop files or we can create new files. Let's go ahead and create a new Word doc. We'll call it the um, notice of intent. We'll go here, we'll name it notice of intent. We got that, we got that. And so we'll refresh here. Oh, it, ooh, it refreshed like right on the fly. Did you guys see that? So we'll close that tab. So we have notice of intent. 
Um, I feel like I need to make these columns show up that are not showing, like licensee, start date, end date, and exclusive. And then I want to put these where I want them to go. So the licensee info, start date, end date, and whether or not it is exclusive. We'll apply. And there we go. That information carried over. I did not enter that information. Um, so there you go. That is how you can track metadata in folders. So here's the uh, the breadcrumb. So we go back here. It takes us to the top of the um, licensing file, oh, <laughs> licensing files library, and then we have a document set here for Sweet Candy Phono Records, which is a license that um, is held with uh, Sweet Candy for some music. It began January 1st, 2021, or it begins on that date, no end date, it's not exclusive, and now you can keep track of how that license is going. Like if there was an end date, you could send yourself a notice saying, hey, this contract is up, you need to reach out to Sweet Candy and see if we can get things renewed. So there you go. So I'm not seeing any questions in the comments section. Hopefully everyone's able to add comments or um, yeah, add uh, questions in the chat. If not, please shoot me an email at sharepointin60seconds at gmail.com. That is sharepointin60seconds at gmail.com. And I will be sure to get back to you and help point you in the right direction. With that, please give a like and subscribe. Share this with someone who is near and dear to you who loves SharePoint. And we'll see you next time for, I think, what is it, episode eight. So happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your blizzard. If you're getting a blizzard, stay safe. Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. And now we're going to bring it over to the bring it home section. So this is like your last ditch effort. If you, uh, if you have a question, now is your chance. Otherwise, we're going to leave you with a little bit more roller skate funk.